short sentence of guerrilla gardening is gardening on public property without permission. But essentially it's finding plots all over the city that are dirty or overrun with weeds and trash and things like that and then going in and making it a garden, making it pretty. It's fun to have that sort of sense of danger, even though there's no real danger of anything really happening because if anybody stops us or anything like that, it's always like, what are you guys doing? We're gardening. And wait, and they're like, okay, good, and they leave. When you have taken a piece of land that had trash and weeds and wasn't taken care of, and then, you know, the next morning, you have a garden there, and then you come back a week later, you know, a month later, a year later, and you see how that's transformed the neighborhood. It's a really great feeling to know that you caused the change. We originally started at night. That was sort of the gorilla. Someone went to bed with no garden and then woke up and walked out and saw a garden. That's kind of, that's a cool element. So I think that's something I get out of it. But I think the most important for me is building community. You guys want a garden? Yeah. yeah? Seriously, you want? Grab a shovel. Come on, man. Here. Come on in. It's amazing to see all these different people who never would have met otherwise and have this kind of common interest. Again, maybe not massive gardeners, but just an interest in sort of beautifying and, and taking ownership of something. So what we do is we, we garden and find spots um, like out in public. There isn't anything here, right? So yeah. we just find a spot like this and we plant plants and we're like, we just do it. We don't ask for permission or anything like that. We just do it. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead, man. Dig a hole. Awesome. Go for it. Let's do it. See how it goes. The most diverse group of people I've ever met has been through Gorilla Garden. People who are producers of movies and like homeless people, all ages from tiny, tiny kids to people in their, probably in their 90s, who wouldn't be interacting in any other way. For me, I'm kind of a spontaneous, want to get it done now person. That's what's great, because I could right now say, oh, I, I see a spot, and then tomorrow show up with plants and put it in. I heard about guerrilla gardening a few months before my birthday, and I was like, oh, that'd be a great idea to do that. Rather than going out to a bar and getting drinks or whatever, hey, everybody, we're gonna make a garden, bring some plants. Kenneth and I actually dated for, I don't a year, I think. Um, and so, <laughs> so actually during, when we did our first garden, it was for his birthday and we were dating. And then decided it would be awesome to try to start a company together. <laughs> we did, and now we are here and it's worked out. We put up a website so that people could get the information. It wasn't meant to be like this organization or anything like that. It just became that afterwards. Do you want, so do you, do you want the Cal Coe on this side? We worked really hard to, you know, remain friends and keep it kosher and great. And uh, yeah, and I'm glad, I'm glad actually. I don't think we would be friends without really gardening. Guerrilla gardening has really changed the way that I've looked at the world in general. I'm constantly looking for a place to put a garden. My mom always makes fun because she used to make my brother and I, you know, weed or do stuff in her yard, but we hated it. And now I'm running a gardening organization. I learned actually that there's something really great about touching dirt and being like, and it sounds a little cheesy, but to be kind of one with the earth and actually get in there and do that, which I think in a city like LA, a lot of people don't get to do that because you don't have a backyard. It's most important to know that if you want to do it, you can't, then you should do it tomorrow. I mean, it's easy. The way to start a gorilla garden, first thing is you want to do a little bit of research about what type of plants work well for your area. What we do is all succulents and drought tolerant, so it's actually really easy to maintain. There's not a ton of water. And then you start figuring out where can I find a spot that's going to work. Small is better than big. Uh, you want to have something Kind of maintain. The bigger it gets, the harder it is to take care of. Places that are near where you live, where you work, or where you go to school, because you want to take care of the garden uh, and not just plant it once and leave it because it might turn into what you had. Just do it. You know, a lot of people think, oh, I, it's got to be the perfect spot and the perfect conditions. You know, experiment, throw something in there, see what happens. You know, a lot of people ask, like, is guerrilla gardening a political statement? Guerrilla gardening for me isn't a political statement, it's just something that I want to do for my community. I just hope that it inspires other people to take ownership of their own community, their own area, and it causes them to be inspired to take action. Soul Pancake, subscribe!